What is up, Capricorn? Welcome to your general timeless reading. These are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest, and they're timeless. So whenever you see this is when it's when it's meant for you. Um, it's for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements. And let's get into it. Capricorn, I've been so looking forward to your reading today. I'm just like, ah, uh, I'm liking Capricorn vibes. Um, what do I want to use for you, though? I want to use, ooh, yeah. I'm really torn. Let's just use both of them. No, let's use Groundhog Zero. Yeah, let's use Groundhog Zero. Okay. And then we'll see what I'm called to do with this. Capricorn. Okay, they literally show me the scene from Harry Potter where they're like, ridiculousness, you know, and they're changing the... I'm just showing my nerdiness right now. They're changing, like, the Dementor from, like, their biggest fear into something that's, like, manageable. So you might be uh, con confronting your fears or just like overcoming like anxiety, fears, insecurities and like learning to see things in a more like lighthearted, positive perspective. That was actually really funny that they brought that like entire scene. I love that movie. I just love all Harry Potter movies. Yeah, the King of Wands and Temperance. Okay, so Temperance. Temperance is your first card out. This is angels, ancestors, and guides to me as a reader. You are most likely connecting with the higher consciousness energy at this time. You also have Pluto in your sign right now, and it's finishing out uh, a 16-year cycle. It's in its 14th year. Um, so you're definitely doing a lot of healing at this time, balancing your dualities. And with the King of Wands there, it's a very passionate, driven energy. This feels like this um, wanting to create, wanting to build. Um, I heard timetables, timetables. So this for some reason they're showing me a sundial though. This feels more so like um, like when I hear timetables, to me it reminds me of timelines. But they showed me a sundial. You might actually be spending more time outside, or literally starting to create things with your hands, or create things in nature, or things that are very um, earthy or just be very much more focused on um, your schedule, right? Sundial to me is about like being mindful of when you wake and when you rest, right? When you're waking up in the day and being more mindful of your actual schedule, okay? Like when the sun's rising, right? A sundial, okay? Hermit in reverse. You're not, I literally heard unbothered right away. You want to be that way toward me? I'll remove myself from the situation. Unbothered. This is a ghosting energy. It's like a shutdown. I'm not, yeah. Ooh. Uh, this feels a little ego based though. It does feel like I'm hurt. This upset me. I'm trying not to let it upset me, but I need to detach from it right now because I, I just, I can't. It's like you don't have the space to deal with it right at this moment, right? And with the Hermit in reverse, it's kind of like detaching. Tell me more. Um, this feels very mutual, this energy. Yeah, King of Cups in reverse, and the Nine of Wands, and you have the Four of Wands in reverse, and then the Queen of Wands. Oh, shit. There it is. Yeah. So this is a very divine connection with somebody that you have. Then you have the Two of Pentacles. This immediately makes my throat tight, and this makes my heart hurt. Uh, yeah, you do not have the emotional space to deal with the situation. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be a friendship, business partnership. It could be a um, family matter, right? King of Cups in reverse, you don't have the emotional space. You withdraw from it. Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior. It's, it's very exhausting for you, but this foundation came down. Four of Wands. This could be a home. could be family. It's a contract, but it's done. It's done. Between the nine and the four is a five of Wands. There was an argument. There was a fight. There was a conflict. It's an ego battle. It's an ego clash. If the Queen of Wands, a very controlling, manipulative energy here with your King of Wands and their uh, Queen of Wands. And energies can be reversed. So whoever's the masculine, they got to claim the kings. And whoever's the feminine, got to claim the queen. So just take it as it resonates. But this individual is still ready to fight. And I feel like this king is very aware of that. And they're just kind of like, I, I don't have the space to deal with it right now. I'm just going to kind of withdraw and make the changes I got to make and move on with my life, right? Two of Pentacles. There's um, there's still decisions to be made about this dynamic. We're gonna get to that. Uh, the first two cards here are kind of about Capricorn, what Capricorn's doing with their life. 
and then we have what Capricorn's contemplating for themselves and the situation. And then we have this situation over here of like this dynamic. So there's like three different things going on. There's like Capricorn being divinely guided, Capricorn's head, and then the situation that decided to pop up. So let's check it out. A little strange. Um Fine, you. I don't really want to. Oh, um, how do I use you? Um, I think I kind of want to use Cosmic Tarot. No, I'll stick to what I got. I just really messed up all that down there, but okay, that's just gonna have to go there for now. I messed up my decks in there. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Show me what I most need to see for Capricorn. Show me what I most need to see for Capricorn. Sun Moon Rising, Venus and Jupiter placements. Why is Temperance here for Capricorn? I heard time away. Yeah, the world, nine of swords, and the hangman. Yeah, you're taking time away from this. Yeah, to heal. To heal, to focus on yourself. The world, it's done. Whatever this was, it's done. The world, nine of swords, you, in your heart just hurts. It just hurts. Nine of swords, it's stress, it's anxiety, it's, oh, it's too much. It's actually triggering a dark night of the soul with the hangman. It's a need to just surrender, to be. Some of you actually need to create like vertebral space, like literally stretch out your back, your spine, like to move your body to allow this energy to flow out of you, okay? Like to really stretch, like exercise, like shake, like to move this, it's too much. It's overwhelming. It's very, even sitting in it, it makes me sick. No, get rid of it. You need to shake, like actually shaking, like shaking the physical body, like shimmying all of it like shake your legs out move yourself like roll the neck gently because the neck is very delicate so roll the neck gently again i'm not a doctor there's like all that liability stuff in the description box but maybe go to the chiropractor get your back checked out things like that but there needs to be tension released in the back maybe get a massage or something there's too much tension built up in the spine lumbar area because th this is a need to re release the nine of swords, the tension. This is tension, stress, anxiety, fear. And you're holding it in the physical body. The hangman's not just about sh surrender, dark night of soul, and awakenings. It's it's also the, the need for the new perspective. It's, it's the in-between. You're not yet in the new cycle yet. But you've ended this old one. Um, I don't want these. I'm going to shuffle again. Tell me about the king of wands for Capricorn. Why is this King of Wands here for Capricorn? I heard foul play. Um, this feels like um, conspiring. It does. I. This feels very angry. I feel like you're angry. Okay. Queen of Cups in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse. Eight of Wands in reverse, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Two of Cups. So here's here's this other person showing up. You feel like they done you dirty. Yep, foul play. Foul play. Because there they are. Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups in reverse. Oh, this is this is just this is kind of fucked. Because we have the King and Queen of Cups and the King and Queen of Wands now. And we have the Eight of Wands in reverse and the Two of Pentacles. It's kind of like, well, what do I, what do I do now? What do I do now? This could be family, friends, or romantic. Just be mindful of that. What do I do now? It's not moving forward, right? Eight of Wands in reverse. Where do I go from here? Is it really done, right? Because th this is this is someone who means a lot to me, right? Ten of Swords. It's uh, you got a lot of this cyclic energy here. This this tie is definitely being cut right now. Let's look at the Hermit. Let's look at the Hermit. Oh, 
Hierophant. Hierophant's contract. It's lessons. It's institution and religion. It's higher consciousness energy. This space away is going to allow both people to shift into a higher state of consciousness for evolution of the relationship. Um, if it's meant to come back together, it will. But right now, both people need the space to, to see things from, from a new perspective, to evolve. The space is needed. The hermit represents the relationship. How it needs it needs separation right now. It needs silence. It needs time away. Yep, devil in reverse. There it is. To release the ego. And then ten of pentacles. And both people don't see this right now. To have that stability. With the moon there. The seven of pentacles. It, it's not meant to grow right now. Knight of Pentacles and Queen of Swords. The the Queen of Swords, Libra energy, and the Queen, there, there might be communication at some point. There might be a gesture or an offer at some point. But right now, this relationship, it's imbalanced. You know? This Queen's probably just going to be working on themselves, distancing themselves. Um... It's also that this queen is emotionally just disconnected. The queen's just very cutting, very just, nope, I don't want part in this, right? It doesn't have to be Libra energy. It could be anybody with a Libra placement. <clears throat> but they might be making a gesture down the road. Okay. Let's look at this uh, King of Cups. The masculine energy. Page of Swords in reverse, Two of Swords in reverse, and Ace. Yeah, the, the masculine energy, which I feel is the Capricorn energy, is very much so like, I have no interest in talking. I don't know what to say, don't know, don't want to say anything. I just know that I want a new cycle, right? Whether it be, I feel it's more so by themselves, right? Let's look at this Nine of Wands. Yeah, Emperor in reverse, mm -hmm, Nine of Wands. Page of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. They're saying they want it by themselves, but really they're just hurt. Emperor in reverse. It's distorted masculine energy. They want to give up because they don't want to be vulnerable. They don't want to surrender to what they're really feeling. And what they're feeling is really hurt. Five of Wands, right? That defeat, that the, the competition, the fighting, the drama. They just don't want to deal with that. Let's look at the Four of Wands in reverse. Strength in reverse, five of pentacles in reverse, and the lovers. This foundation is just broken. It's just broken. It's um it's too weak. Eventually this connection is gonna come out of the woodwork. It will. It'll come back to the surface, but it's it's going through a big transformation with death there in the tower. These two people, they were not jiving. They were not jiving. They just it was an ego clash. We had distortion on both parts. People who were emotionally shut down, not willing to see the other. It was ego love. Let's look at this Queen of Wands. It was controlling on both people's parts. Yeah. Knight of Wands in reverse. Empress in reverse. And the Knight of Swords. So we have one person evolving to the Emperor, right? And another evolving to the Empress. They needed to disconnect so they can evolve as people, as partners, right? Whether it be family, siblings, friends, romance, doesn't matter. But this queen, um, very fiery with the Knight of Wands there. And the Knight of Swords, very eager to fight. Very argumentative. Um, and the Emperor, very uh, inauthentic. Not wanting to really share how they feel. Very emotionally shut down. Um, so, two very combative energy going on here and this is what was perpetuating in, in that cycle right and that they have to heal the two of pentacles we have the star justice in reverse the three of swords three of cups the fool and the five of cups okay so we have the star justice and the three of swords with the star and justice in reverse the ending of this contract has been a long time coming. It was just creating so much pain between these two people. Two people and it was just like, 
when are we really going to drop this, right? Justice, the star, and the three of swords. It wasn't working. It wasn't working. And with the three of cups, we have the reconciliation, the coming back together. It's going to be a risk, though. It's going to be a choice if both people want to do this because they're going to have to mourn. They're going to have to let go of the, what doesn't serve them. Between the five and the three is the two of cups. It is the two of cups connection. It's a very strong connection. There's just a lot of work to be done. And bottom of the deck, your ending overall energy is temperance, right? More reconciliation, more healing. This is very, very divinely guided. This has to happen right now because both people are evolving to emperor and empress. But they're going through a lot of pain, a lot of trauma together. It's just going to take some patience. It's going to take some patience, temperance, moderation. Okay? Well, my dears, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you want a personal reading or a Reiki session, book it down below. I love you. Like, share, subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.